What is the what is this? A seat. <laughs> like where where does this go? Like Look, I feel like it's deeper. <laughs> Probably false this is information. This the worst automotive channel on <laughs> YouTube. In this video, Megan might get half of our subscribers to leave by mocking minivans. I look like an old mom. That's wow, what this, that's we just lost the half the audience. <laughs> I lavish praise on the ride handling balance of minivans. I was very impressed with the ride quality of this minivan. And maybe I inadvertently sell some Apple iPads. Just buy your kids some iPads or something for crying out loud. So for the past week, we've been rolling around in this Toyota Sienna XSE model, and we have some thoughts. Admittedly, spoiler alert, neither of us is, you know, huge on minivans. However, both of us recognize, let's say, the necessity some people might have for minivans. So take our opinions with a grain of salt, but we attempt to be as objective as possible. Like MPV. I don't know. Just you know, minivan just seems like minivan. I don't know. I would like a cooler name. Maybe if it had a cooler name and it looked a slightly bit cooler. Maybe they could make a video. I would about drive one. That. Megan comes up with cooler name than minivan. Yeah. Would. What if it? What if it like caught on and it was like the new thing? Well then, Toyota, you heard here first. Let's yeah, get some copyright on this. Like a... Don't tell them until we copyright it. Okay, I'll come up with it and then we'll we'll be back after it's been copyrighted. I want to start here under the hood because honestly, this is one of the most impressive things about the Toyota Sienna. During our time with it, currently as I pulled into the park here, we're averaging about 34.5 miles per gallon and that's driving it extensively over the course of the week. I drove it back and forth to work, Megan drove it back and forth to work, she drove it to the grocery store, we took uh, Hallie to her volleyball tournaments, we had just us in the car, we had Hallie in the car, we had my parents, all of us in the car, so five people in the car, back and forth to Atlanta, we drove it all over the place, and 34.5 miles per gallon during that time is quite good. And to be honest with you, what's even more impressive to me is that when the Sienna was delivered in a full tank, it had over 500 miles of total range, and as it is after an entire week and multiple trips back and forth to Atlanta, we have about a third of a tank left. So for something this size, it gets impressive aggressive efficiency. That easily makes it one of the most efficient vans that you can buy. And since the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid is significantly more expensive than this XSE trim of the Toyota Sienna, that means the Sienna kind of wins in that regard because all Siennas are hybrids. Whereas you have to step up to a higher price point if you want the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. I appreciate that's a hybrid, go hybrid. Oh, and in case you're new to planet Earth, this is Toyota's familiar hybrid setup, which means it's like a 2.5 liter four cylinder, two electric motors giving this thing all wheel drive, total combined horsepower is 245 horsepower, which is enough in this application. It's running through a CVT automatic, which I know is not everybody's favorite, but you know, in typical Toyota fashion, it performs pretty much flawlessly. And as I said, that power goes through all wheel drive, which is important because that means this is a more versatile family option if you live in harsher climates. My buddy, Untamed Motors, bought a Toyota Sienna, mainly because he has a franchise's worth of children, and he needed the versatility of a minivan for that franchise, but he also needed all-wheel drive to deal with the harsher climate of Wyoming or wherever he lives out in the middle of nowhere. It's like dances with wolves in his part of the world. I'm just kidding. What's up, buddy? Now, the pro here is, of course, excellent fuel economy and, of course, Toyota reliability. The con, however, is the typical sort of thrashiness of the four-cylinder. This has just been an issue that's plagued most Toyota hybrids. It's just unpleasant noise. That's all it is. It doesn't detract from the driving experience in any way. I look like an old mom. That's wow. What this, that's how we just lost half the audience. Half <laughs> the audience. There's the nothing. Audience. No, 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 no. 
just personal preference. Should we have a disclaimer? All opinions are your own. <laughs> All do not reflect Dean me. Jack's automotive YouTube channel. Yes. It drives fine, I think. I mean... This is the sporty model. There's a less... There's a non-sporty model? Yep. Why... So, it drives well. It's smooth. The brakes are, like... You know, there, there was no, like, jerky brakes or whatever. Is it quieter than a normal car? Is that because mm. of the, the hybrid? Like, I feel like it like it sounds yeah, like an electric at, vehicle at, to me sometimes. At times. Like, when it starts up? Yeah, when it cuts on and off, yeah. It cuts on and off? But you can see that there's a little green indicator in the dash. It oh. says EV. I didn't drive it on the interstate, but I rode with you on the interstate. And I fell asleep in the back seat, actually, so... As per usual. <laughs> Oh, I was in the back seat. I was long. It's been a long weekend. I don't know. I feel like a minivan should be like a nice, smooth, like nothing exciting kind of ride, but like milk toast. Did you say milk toast? <laughs> Is this the 1950s? <laughs> wow, with the Toyota Sienna minivan. It's a milk toast minivan. What is that voice for? That's my 1950s radio, radio announcer. Radio announcer. Oh, okay. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like a very like if you're like a mom who this is who the this demographic is. You're yes, like mom. best friend drives a minivan. I know, and I love her dearly, but I don't love a minivan. That's what a van is for. It's so that I can be a mom and drive my car and get my kids where they need to get to and travel where I want to go and have all the stuff in the back and the kids can reach all the stuff and have all the infotainment and have all the space and the doors can open for them and you know, all the kind of things so that you don't have to worry about it. So I kind of feel like that's how it drives. Like it drives lovely. It takes care of yeah, yeah, so that I don't have to worry about it. Like, there's not going to be any, like, sport modes or, like, turbo shift buttons. Oh, but turbo. there is. What? There's drive, a turbo? Drive mode, sport mode. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? Because it doesn't really do anything. Oh, so it's not as exciting as the other one. No, no, you're comparing to the Genesis EV. Okay, no. but, so, if I and my mom and with my kids, I can just drive on drive whatever regular so I don't have to worry about how it drives. But if I'm by myself and want to feel like a, you know... Yeah, you're not like gonna not feel a mom like, for a few seconds. I can do sport mode. Yeah, you're not gonna feel like the Mazda though. But like maybe a little bit more than. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So I think as a van, it does what it should do. It it does what I need it to do, and it's I don't easy. have to worry about it. It's easy to drive. Feels easy. There's nothing crazy. You drove about a lot it. of people to Atlanta this weekend. Yeah, and I had to drive sit in the back, and I was super. Well, like you could be 12 feet tall and fit back there. Well, the sliding chairs are kind of the Sienna thing. Yeah, it's like a lot. Yeah, it's like a lot of space. Every minivan has a thing. That's yeah. the Sienna. Okay, the one thing I don't like though is that they go so far back, but then that you have like the big track on the floor. Like, yeah, it's not the best looking. It's not like I want it to be a hidden track. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere. So that it looks like carpet. You know well, what I mean? And so then you like don't a lounge. know. So we want the two Yeah, lounge. like when you open it, it feels like there's like a like a mat so that be should a be disco there. Ball? <laughs> it feels like there's like a floor mat that's missing. Like I oh, feel like I okay. see the you know, the bottom of the floor that I'm not supposed to see. Does that right. make sense? Oh, and by the way, I want to heap praise on an unlikely hero in this equation. And that's the person or persons responsible for tuning the handling balance on the Toyota Sienna XSC trim. Seriously, whoever tuned the suspension on this XSC trim deserves a raise. Now, I'm not going to get into a whole me driving it, you know, review. If you want to see more of that, check out the earlier review I did of the Toyota Sienna, link in the description. And of course, Megan drove the Sienna and gave her impressions. But the ride handling balance, in my opinion, for a vehicle like this, a minivan, let's be clear, this is a minivan, is pretty much fantastic. It is a little firmer, it is a little sportier. You do feel a little bit more road texture through the van. However, on the way to Atlanta, with all of us riding in it, we're traveling over 80 miles an hour and it is rock solid. It is on the firmer side, but it's more controlled. And I really like that. I was very impressed with the ride quality of this minivan. Yeah, of course it is because it's a van. Forty-seven thousand oh, you know dollar love? van better be automatic. You know what I like on the key fob, which is this on this and all all of them, but you can hold it down, and open the doors. You can hold yeah. it down and open this. You can. Oh, it's pretty cool. Now this, see, this is where you really can't beat a van because you have all the space, like in a car, like in a um, like a Tahoe or, or a three-row SUV like that. That's not like a suburban. That's mm -hmm. crazy big. You have like hardly any space in the back. This thing, I mean, guys, <laughs> like. I could literally, me and a whole like uh, softball team, volleyball team, I don't know, could fit back here. All of Hallie's team? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Like, where where does this go? Like, Look, I feel like it's deeper. <laughs> do you know that this is one of the, this is the smallest minivan? Of all the minivans? Of the four. Why? 
Doesn't look like it. Well, it sort of becomes academic. They're so big that it doesn't matter, really. I this don't think it matters. This just feels like it's so deep. I don't understand. I feel like it no. should be on the ground. Anyone who thinks that the Where size of the cargo space matters is silly. Why is it the size of the cargo? No, I mean comparatively. Like this oh, is oh, oh. marginally it's, it's probably like smaller. a cubic foot right, difference or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's no, it's more than that. It's it's significant, but like how many children do you actually need? I mean, I thought you were gonna say how many children do you need to fit back there? Well, either way. <laughs> I was like, honey. How much children's um, junk? But like, I mean, and it's it's so deep. Like for groceries, this would be like clutch. Yeah, and you can still carry people. Okay, let me clarify really quickly what I mean by sort of the size difference here is academic. Yes, the Toyota Sienna of the four minivans that are on sale is on the smaller end of the spectrum. I'll put the stats on screen so you can kind of see how the cargo stacks up against the Pacifica, the Honda Odyssey, and the Kia Carnival. However, I do think at a certain point, you have to ask yourself, how much space do you actually need? We never felt like there was any difference between this and maybe its rivals in terms of space. As most vans go, we had more than enough space. The rear cargo well is ginormous. The third seat tumbles into it, revealing an even more cavernous space. And the fact that the middle row, or the captain's chairs, I guess, slide back and forth so far gives you as much or as little space as you need. My mom, who needed help getting into the van, we were able to slide the seat up to make it easier with the grab handle, whereas Hallie, who was resting and playing all weekend in volleyball tournament, was able to slide the seat all the way back and stretch out all almost five foot 11 of herself in total comfort. So there's a versatility here. The Sienna's party piece is sort of these sliding seats. And the sliding seats are a cool trick. My overarching point here is that there's a lot of space in the interior of this minivan. And even though, yes, statistically, it is significantly smaller than something like the Kia Carnival, I do think it's got plenty of usable space, especially up front. There's tons of USB ports, there's wireless charging, there's tons of cup holders. You've got all sorts of amenities you'd expect to find in a minivan making it useful. This one has the rear seat entertainment system, which I think in 2023 is a complete waste of money. And I'll get to that more in the summary. Just buy your kids some iPads or something for crying out loud. Don't pretend like you don't want to just hand them an iPad in a restaurant. We've all been there. How dare you? Okay, see, look, you can press that. Or it's on the key fob, or you can actually like pull on the door. Like a lot of choices. This, show them this. This is what I was talking about. See, like it looks like unfinished. Yeah. I don't know. I just it's like don't a Disney love... ride. It's like our thing. <laughs> that was random. Um, nice handles here if you need any assistance climbing in. This is good. Like my mom did. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, she's um, older. This, look how much space I have. Like it's super comfy. What is the, What is this? A seat. <laughs> is this like a design that's on all their seats? This, no, like, whatever some, this is. No, no. Um, I don't hate it. The infotainment, I didn't open it before. It's, eh, it's there, it's nothing exciting. Um, cup holder in the door. B the button to close the door is up here. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty good. And then, let's see, if you climb way back here, whoo, okay, a human can't fit back here with this seat pulled all the way back. Right, but if you move them up, it's super I can fit strange. in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> but not, you can see where my knees are, not behind these seats. But if you move these seats up, which clearly, you have plenty of space to move these seats up. Oh my God, there's more cup holders back here. Yeah. See, so I can fit. It's not super comfortable. You'd want small people back here. You'd want to fit the people in the van from smallest to largest. Yeah, but you have knee room. Yes, I do. But this person I don't think has much, do they? No, a kid would be there and a kid would be there. I mean, this could come back a tiny bit more, but that's about it. And my head kind of hits. I feel very kind of claustrophobic yeah, back here. Yeah, well, you're 5'9", so. Is this real low? Uh, it's, Yeah, probably a little. Yeah, I feel a little claustrophobic. I don't love it. I wouldn't last a whole car trip back here. Yeah, I agree that the tracks in the floor look a little bit like, you know, one of the original Disney rides when you look down instead of all around at the wow factor. We're Disney nerds. You know that if you've been here. But honestly, I think that's a fair trade-off. The versatility of being able to slide those seats around is pretty fantastic, and the adjustment is massive. Now, I will ding the interior on a couple of things. First and foremost, the materials are okay, but this is a $47,500 minivan. And a few weeks ago, we had a $51,000 Toyota Highlander hybrid, which had nearly the same levels of efficiency, not quite as much space, but a lot. 
and it was a platinum edition and it felt like a platinum edition. The materials were excellent and more importantly, the infotainment was updated. This is still, for some unknown reason, to all that is holy and decent in the world, running Toyota's old infotainment system. And as much as I generally like the usability of this thing, I think that's kind of ridiculous and inexcusable because their new system is so good and it looks so good, it looks premium. This now in 2023 looks borderline unacceptable. This is Toyota's kind of old technology. Okay, I can tell it doesn't look new, but it's yeah. like nice and it does what it's the supposed to do. The screen's not so good for 47. 47, that's a lot. It does fit the sand lane. Yes. So that's a positive. Um, and you, is this like to put my purse down here? Yeah. It's like giant that cavern. A huge amount of space. Yeah, that's pretty cool. My purse, I actually like the floating. My purse barely Coffee. fit, just so you know. To you each say design. purse, I say duffel bag. <laughs> The steering wheel is not my favorite, not my least favorite, right in the middle. I think it looks pretty good. I like all the gray. I like the like orange stitching. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's the sport one. So I mean, I don't tears. love this material. What is this? No, I don't know. It's kind of scratchy plastic. Yeah, I don't but like the stripes on it. It's better than black. It's better than gloss black because that looks disgusting. But could they've just done like a matte gray? Or yeah, something? maybe something like that. Yeah, I just don't like the stripes. They're not my. They're not my stripes. favorite. Stripes. That's what there are stripes. It's textured, I guess. They're literally stripes. Oh, yes, you, they're don't literal make fun of texture me. stripes. You're a texture stripe. Oh, it does have the charging. What is that called? Charging plate? Yeah, wireless pad. We got a ton wireless of pad. USB. And, and there's and about 87,000 cup holders. Yeah. Well, there's these tiny ones. So what is that for? Cans? Cans, I guess. Okay. So like you have a can of Coke or something. And then there's there's ones in the door and there's ones up here. And there's like eight in the bag. So you really like could bring all the beverages and never run out of cup holders. I don't hate the interior of this. I can appreciate the, the size and the functionality and why you would enjoy the interior of a minivan. Um, I just don't love the exterior of a minivan. Now, one thing I have not mentioned, and I've kind of waited till the end here to talk about it, is the Sienna's styling. Now, we're talking about minivans, and Megan and I talked about this a lot, and I know she mentioned it as well. I'm fine with the styling, to be honest with you. I think the Sienna looks fine. It looks totally fine as minivans go. The Carnival's trying to be a little more SUV-ish. The Pacifica's trying to be a little bit more elegant. The Sienna's trying to be a little bit more sporty. And I think that current Honda Odyssey kind of looks like trash. So if you're more into the aggressive looks of the Sienna, I totally get that. I think in this sort of flat gray color, it looks kind of okay, really. Whereas, you know, the Pacific is trying to look a little bit more upscale and luxurious. Whether they succeed or fail is totally Totally up to you. Now, if I had to pick my personal preference in the minivan bubble, I probably would lean more towards the Sienna personally, just in terms of exterior styling. I do think what the Carnival is doing is kind of cool and different, but I don't know. If you're going to go minivan, go kind of crazy with it. I like the sort of XSC look. I wasn't as wild about the last one that I tested. It was sort of like a burgundy color, which was doing it no favors. Actually, I think it was like a brown, if I remember correctly. Definitely not doing it any favors. This flat gray with wheels that are textured. The wheels have textured texture on them. What the heck are you thinking, Toyota? Look, Toyota has lost its freaking mind lately, and I'm here for it. I don't like minivans. Like, it's deep, deep in my DNA to just dislike minivans. So let's just get that out of the way. So I'm going to try to be unbiased and fair because I appreciate a Toyota. I already told you I don't hate the inside. I appreciate the functionality. I appreciate the size. I think it looks pretty good. I will tell you, I don't hate the front of this minivan. Uh, I like the grill. Is it, do most minivans even have grills? Yes. But do they like look kind of cool? No, that's what they're going for. You know what I mean? Like they're this kind of looks for a, cool. You know, aggressive. I don't hate the color. I wish it was like a little darker gray. Did they have this color like in a little darker? I don't know about that. Like I think the darker the color, the cooler the minivan. You know, like yeah. a black minivan to me looks cooler than like a light gray minivan. Preferable. Yeah. So I don't hate the front. You know what I don't like? The This blue. It looks like that sticky stuff when you buy things that okay, you have. Bad news. Every Toyota hybrid has a blue badge. Oh, to like prove that it's That's hybrid. a hybrid, yes. But you know what I mean? Yeah. You know when you buy something that has that blue film on it that you yeah. haven't pulled off? Yeah. It looks like I forgot to pull off the Yikes. blue film. Well, sorry, all my friends that drive Toyotas. Sorry, that's what it looks like. I, I don't know, it feels like fake. For a minivan, not bad, not bad. What I don't like at all is how long it is. Like, why it's does a, a minivan? Van. I know, that's what I don't like. If it it's wasn't short, this long, it would be a car. It's short and long. 
Why is it short and long? That's just what I don't like about a van. Short and long. You literally just said short and long. No, short, short, sure. long. Okay. Two different dimensions. Right. Um, I think that's just what I don't like. It looks like you took a car and stretched out, which I think is exactly what a that's minivan literally is. Literally a minivan. But it looks it's like literally that. Literally a minivan. Without like the you just toughness. Just defined minivan Shut on Wikipedia. Up. Minivan on Wikipedia. A car that's been stretched out. <laughs> that is not out. minivan on Wikipedia. Maybe Wikipedia after you've gone in. I'm gonna and go in and, and edit the... Wikipedia. So it <laughs> says exactly. That. That's what I'm gonna say. Just to prove a point, then it probably does say that. But like an SUV is like long, but like trucky looking. So it like kind of looks cool. This is like long and like, I'm just a mom car. I'm just a long mom car. I don't want to drive a long mom car. I want to no drive- No mom is ever subscribing to this channel. <laughs> but I just don't- The car mom me. is now declared war on you. Does she love a minivan? I don't know. Okay, I like the interior of a minivan. I appreciate a minivan. I appreciate, I don't think any mom if you ask a mom, hey, do you love your van? They'd be like, yes, the interior is awesome. I love how the doors open by themselves. They don't swing out like this so your kids aren't hitting into people's cars. You have all the space, you have all the, like, I get that, 100%. That's why moms buy minivans. They do not buy minivans because they look cool. Like there's no mom that bought, bought them because they look cool. Hot take, Megan, right here, you heard it first. I don't think it's a hot take. I think it's like just the truth. So if their I'm son's wrong. friends aren't like, your mom's van is awesome. Yeah, your mom's van is so cool. Yeah, guys, have you seen my awesome Stacey's van? Stacy's like... mom drives a minivan. <laughs> no. Stacy's mom has got it going on. They all are like, have you seen the inside of my van? Facts. Which I appreciate the inside of a van. I just don't like the way the outside of the van looks. My biggest problem is why is that windshield wiper so weirdly tiny? And the window so weirdly big. I, it, it is out of proportion. I don't, I dislike it. This it looks, does seem to be a little bit of a... Like on a little sporty, I feel like that's the same windshield wiper you have on like a tiny little sporty car. Give me a bigger windshield. That doesn't even windshield wipe with the whole windshield, I guess, because it's short. It's, it goes back to the whole short thing. Um, and it's very straight up and down. Well, it's for the space inside. I know. Again, everything about a van has to it's do with the inside. It's a box on wheels. Okay, but that's the point, yes? But so it, is it supposed to look good? They're trying their best. When it comes to vans, this is probably a fairly good looking van, but- well, There's only like four minivans now. In, in the world? There's the Honda Odyssey, the Chrysler Pacifica, the Toyota Sienna, the Kia Carnival. Which one's the most, most popular? I think the Sienna sells the most. Okay. I'll put it on screen if I'm right or wrong. In the <laughs> space of four vans, if that is my sample size, I think we're probably going in the top. I don't hate the outside. Top four. It's definitely in the top four. Now, I would say top one or two. I mean, I haven't oh. seen the others, so this is all just- So I haven't seen the others, but it's probably the best looking. Probably false information. This is information. the worst automotive channel on <laughs> YouTube. But no, what I'm saying is it probably, I, can, I can't imagine another van like probably looks better. I think they did a decent job for what they're working with. You know, like you, you wear <laughs> as good outfits as you can, but we only have so much we can do. I don't try at all. <laughs> I try to buy you things. Anyway, I and work out. That's trends. my contribution. He skips leg day a lot, so. I, not anymore. <laughs> so should you buy a Toyota Sienna, especially in this XSE trim? Ugh, that's a tough call, to be honest with you. The minivan segment is insanely competitive. I mean, it really is. And all of them are offering something amazing. They're all offering kind of that party trick. In the Sienna, it's the sliding seats and it's the hybrid efficiency. Look, if efficiency matters to you, the Sienna, in my opinion, is kind of the only game in town at a reasonable price point. If you want all wheel drive, it literally is the only game in town. You have to spend a lot more to get a Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. The Carnival doesn't have it. The Odyssey doesn't have it. So to me, the Sienna is making a case for itself there. But if you do not absolutely need the space, and if you don't, I'm not sure you're really shopping for a minivan, then I don't think at $47,500, the Sienna is giving you as much content as you would find in sort of an equivalently priced Toyota Highlander, especially if you add a few thousand dollars and get the platinum version of whatever we had and you get all that goodness, you get the new updated infotainment system and you get a nicer interior. So that is something to consider. Now, my advice is that the XSC trim is pretty good. And if you want the goodness of that and you wanna pay a little bit of a lower price, skip the rear seat entertainment payment system. That brings it down to a more palatable $46,000. And I think at that price, the Sienna makes a much better case for itself. Megan's final moments. Megan. Well, that sounds like you're, are you all right? Do we need to <laughs> take you to the doctor? Meant. Megan, we, I'll, come up, I'll come up with it when I come film. up with it for the minivan. We'll um, copyright them at the exact same time. Oh, okay. So that gives me a lot to think about. 
So the outside, like a solid five out of 10. But if I'm rating it on a scale of one to minivan, like on a minivan scale of one to 10, I'd give it probably like an eight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't love it, but as a minivan, I don't hate it. The interior, like when it comes to like size and like how many big compartments there are and all the space that you have and like the, just the usefulness of it, nine out of 10. When it comes to like how it looks, six or seven out the of 10. The interior? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just not fancy. But like I said, I think that's the point of a van is to not be fancy, not like to be fancy in like a, I have all the compartments and all the different things I can do, but not to be distracting to the mom who already has 8 million things distracting her. So I do appreciate Toyota. I feel like they're like, listen to their moms. Like I don't want 87,000 bells and whistles. I just want to get in my car, have my kids get in the back without me having to touch the door and open the door and worry about them opening their, you know, they can do their thing and I can drive. And at 47.5? It's, it's a little much. I feel like it should look a little nicer for that price. Is that just me? No, I think that's fair. I mean, Kia just throws options. I at just, you for I less. really am thrown off by the tracks in the back. I feel it's, like they make it look cheaper. Than that it and is. the windshield wiper have vexed you. That and the tiny windshield wiper and the stripey thing that you said is not stripes, but it's clearly well, stripes. Yeah. What yeah, about the gas? You can mileage. show the people it's it. It's almost 34 miles. Oh, the gallon. gas. Yeah, I feel like I drove it and I didn't use any gas at all. Yeah. So the gas mileage, 10 out of 10. So if you are looking for, and again, if you're shopping for a van, you're not shopping for the coolest car out there. You're shopping for functionality. So when it comes to being a van, get her. I like it. That's your sign off now. Get the van. <laughs> it's a very specific sign off. <laughs> Get the van. I could have a different one for like every car. What get the you, Honda. What if you don't like get it? Get the Mazda. <laughs> don't. Then get I can them. be like, don't get the. Sucks. Don't get the. Yeah. No, I would not. Bad language. What? Get the van. Channel's not that clean. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Maybe you're not because you don't shower on a regular basis, but. And we're done. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, for more exhilarating minivan content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like this video if you like exhilarating minivan content, and you can absolutely help the channel by watching one of the other videos that is very shortly about to pop up on your screen, probably after some ridiculous married couple bloopers. All right, enjoy those. Until next time, drive safe. We'll see you in the next video. So should you buy a Chrysler, Chrysler Pacifica, too many minivans. I, oh, I was supposed to turn. Yeah, we've only been there 10 times. <laughs> you know what? Directions aren't my thing. And I'm talking, I get, I get distracted. Directions anywhere. I don't need your sass.